So I made a video last week talking about me switching over to Windows 11, why I did it, what I've been liking, what I haven't been liking, and the video is doing really, really well, so thank you very much. But I did get a few comments where people were saying, hey, I don't want to switch to Windows 11. It's requiring me to buy new hardware um, because my current hardware is not supported. And, you know, that is a totally valid argument. But a lot of people don't realize that their current hardware is actually supported and all they really need to do is change a few settings in order for Windows to recognize that those things are available and ready for them, specifically TPM. So Windows 11's actual hardware requirements are relatively simple and a lot of people ever since Windows 11 got announced and these requirements got announced were very confused by the requirement of TPM. Now in the past, TPMs were usually a physical piece of hardware um, and what they're used for is they're a trusted platform module. So what they're used for is to provide a hardware-based security function um, in order to, you know, just add a little bit of security to your system um, and it makes it, you know, tamper resistant and a few other things as well. And what a lot of people do not realize, however, is that most modern CPUs that you would be running in a computer that you'd be wanting to upgrade to Windows 11 um, is likely going to be supporting TPM through the CPU itself. Um, and it's usually just a BIOS option change that you have to go in and find. So if you have uh, an AMD platform, you're gonna be looking for something called FTPM. And on Intel, you're gonna be looking for something called PTT or Platform Trust Technology. Make sure that it's set to firmware TPM. Uh, that's the difference between um, firmware that is built into the CPU versus a discrete TPM, which is a separate module on its own. Um, and the best way to find this setting, honestly, is just Googling your motherboard brand and how to enable TPM. Because unfortunately, all the motherboard manufacturers hide settings between behind different portions of their menus. It can be very difficult. For example, my main computer has an Asus motherboard, my uh, server and stream computer has an MSI motherboard, and they hide options all in different areas. The small PCs that I use have Gigabyte, motherboards and they hide it in another section so it can be very difficult the best way to do it is just hopping on google typing in how to enable tpm whatever brand motherboard and you'll find usually a really good option here is where it's located on my asus motherboard um, as you can see it is a very simple one setting change that you have to make uh, in order for windows to now recognize that you have tpm and allow you to do the upgrade or the install um, and here are the locations uh, where they were on my Gigabyte and MSI motherboards in case you don't want to Google and you just want to hear my voice and see where I found them. There are also a few ways to basically entirely bypass the TPM 2.0 requirements. Uh, one way is to modify your registry um, and the other way is to create a bootable media with something like Rufus um, and the official Windows ISO and by doing so, you'll be able to bypass the requirement. And the final thing is that nobody is forcing anybody to switch to Windows 11. Windows 10 is still supported, and if it's doing everything that you need it to, you can definitely stay on Windows 10. I mentioned all the reasons that I did switch over to Windows 11 in that previous video, and that's not for everybody. Uh, most people don't feel the need to switch. I didn't feel the need to switch for a very long time, but because I'm making videos and a lot of people are watching these for help and guides, it does help to be using something that a lot of those newer people to technology are using. And that's usually the most recent OS because they got a new laptop or what have you. So Windows 11 is just the best bet for me. I will say, however, I am still really enjoying it and I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thoughts Live and Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to check out my video that I did on Windows 11 and my Switch, you can go ahead and check it out right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.